interesting last meal. Scientists have found out what an ancient iceman filled his belly with before he died. Ozzy the Iceman was a hunter who died in the Alps 5,300 years ago. His mummified body was discovered near the Italy-Austria border in 1991. Researchers were unable to locate the hunter's stomach until a CT scan revealed the organ was tucked under a rib cage. An analysis revealed that half the stomach contents consisted of the fat and meat of an alpine goat. They also found red deer meat, whole wheat seeds, and traces of toxic bracken fern. The toxic fern may have been ingested accidentally or possibly as medicine for whipworm parasites, which was previously found in his intestines. All in all, Otzi's final meal seemed to be pretty well balanced. Goat fat made sense given the harsh terrain, but as for the taste, it's apparently really horrible. Speaking of horrible things to put in your mouth... Bakersfield Girl serves up revenge-filled cupcakes. A Bakersfield, California girl literally gave her tormentors their just desserts last week after she got fed up with their bullying and decided to serve them some cupcakes with a special homemade filling. The girl attends Bakersfield Centennial High as a 10th grader and was having a few issues with some bullies. When she felt that she had enough, she decided that they all needed to try a new recipe she had been working on. One that called for a few special ingredients. Apparently, she ran out of one or two important things, though. But I guess it was all good since she could readily substitute a couple of homegrown secret flavor enhancements. Needless to say, there were a few mild reactions to the richness of that recipe. Okay, we'll admit that no one actually spontaneously combusted after eating the tainted sweets. But we do know at least one of them had to stay home from school after having an adverse reaction. The Bakersfield Police Department is treating this as a simple school prank, and the school has now banned all outside food. No one was charged in the incident. Trichophagia is a tricky thing to have. Doctors in India have removed a melon-sized hairball weighing nearly four and a half pounds from the stomach of a teenage girl. The 16-year-old girl had secretly been eating her own hair for years, but her dad and mom didn't realize anything was up until her weight dropped to just 30 pounds. With a stomach full of hair, the girl found it difficult to eat food and she kept vomiting. But it was only when doctors did an x-ray that the problem was revealed. A giant hairball the size of a melon, filling more than four-fifths of her stomach. The girl was diagnosed with trichophagia, a compulsive disorder in which people eat their own hair. Surgeons have successfully removed the hairball from the girl's stomach, and she's said to be doing much better now. Eating from the garbage. In the Philippine capital of Manila, the poorest of the poor are forced to eat pagpag, -pag, washed and recooked landfill meat, to relieve their hunger. The term means to shake or dust off in Filipino, in reference to the act of cleaning dirt off the leftover food scraps to make it edible. When food is discarded by restaurants, it ends up at dump sites where scavengers sort through the waste for hours, picking out chicken bones and other scraps of meat. These leftovers are later separated, bagged, and then sold to families or eatery owners for a few pesos. Those who prepare pagpag -pag first wash or boil it in water to get rid of the germs before refrying or cooking it in some type of sauce. Eateries sell a pagpag -pag meal for as little as 20 pesos or 38 US cents a portion. For those who live hand to mouth, this is a day's wage and the only thing they can afford. Slum dwellers who eat the recycled meal say it's delicious and claim no one has died from eating it. Despite experts warning that it can cause stomach and other food related illnesses, most say they will continue to eat it, not that they have a choice. To them, food from the garbage is better than no food at all. Be nice to your colleagues. A 47-year-old Michigan woman has lost her job after local police discovered she put laxatives and brownies on purpose for her co-worker's farewell party. According to the Saline Post, Saline Police said the woman worked at an engineering firm in Michigan and dumped a tube of laxatives into the brownie batter. So what was her motive? Well, the woman didn't like the co-worker who was leaving. Wow, that's some serious hating right there. 
But before she could pass out the laxative treats, someone tipped off the company, allowing her supervisors to confiscate the brownies and call the cops. While questioning the woman, she denied putting the laxatives into the mix. The cops said they were happy to get the treats analyzed. That's when she confessed and called it a bad joke. Fortunately, nobody ate the brownies, and the company had no better choice than firing the woman and pressing charges against her for her little bad joke. In an interview with the Charlotte Observer, Saline Police Chief Jared Hart said a lot of the times movies or TV shows have someone attempting to put medication into food as a joke, but in fact it's very serious as it's both unnecessary and criminal. Contamination fears spark Eggo waffle recall. Kellogg recalled 10,000 cases of Eggo Nutri-Grain whole wheat waffles in 25 U.S. states on Monday due to potential risks of listeria contamination. Listeria monocytogenes bacteria is commonly found in soil and water. Vegetables can be contaminated with the bacteria from soil, while animals can carry it without appearing ill and can infect meat and dairy products. Once inside food, the bacteria can spread to processing facilities, where it can survive for years, multiplying and contaminating other products. The bacteria can even survive being frozen and can spread to the freezer where the contaminated food is stored. When a person eats food containing Listeria monocytogenes, the bacteria can spread in the body and cause an infection, with symptoms including fever and muscle aches. CRF Frozen Foods announced a nationwide recall of almost 360 frozen fruits and vegetables after a Listeria outbreak in May. Meanwhile, ice cream brand Bluebell recalled its products everywhere after a large Listeria outbreak last year. Woman finds rodent baked into Chick-fil-A sandwich. Been having a craving for Chick-fil-A? Probably not for long. A woman in Pennsylvania is taking the fast food chain to task after discovering an unwanted extra topping baked into her chicken sandwich. Yummy! Last November, 46-year-old Ellen Manfaludi and her co-worker were sitting down for their lunch break, courtesy of Chick-fil-A. When Manfaludi took a bite, she felt something funny, but figured the bun was just really badly burnt. It didn't take long for her to realize she just tasted rodent. Apparently, the whiskers and tail were what tipped her off. Horrified, Manfaludi had the bun sent in for testing, and sure enough, lab reports confirmed the sandwich bun consisted of a small mouse or rat that appeared fried. Her lawyer has since reached out to Chick-fil-A, but claims the company has only responded by referring him to its insurance company. Chick-fil-A's owner, Dave Heffernan, has stated he won't comment on the allegations while an investigation is underway. Manfaludi claims she's been having recurring nightmares and is now seeking $50,000 in damages for her pain, suffering, emotional distress, sleeplessness, anxiety, and PTSD. If you think she's got it bad, just imagine that poor little rat became his own last meal. So, you still craving Chick-fil-A? Didn't think so.